form the Dragon Guard. I do. The crew of the Perfect Pounce already helped us on one dragon hunt. I'd like you to see if they'd join us for many more. Speak to Zaji and see if he and his crew want to join our order. And let's hope Zaji takes our offer seriously. He may find it hard to believe that we want his crew to join the Dragon Guard. In fact, I'm having a hard time believing it myself. But by lucky, we need them. Members of the Dragon Guard were the premier soldiers of the Empire. They were master strategists, disciplined and honor-bound. It's no exaggeration to say they were the best of the best. We, on the other hand, have a crew of pirates. Yes, how could I forget? I led young Aelia in her first battle. None of them are my first choice. They've all shown themselves to be dedicated to protecting Elsewhere and its people. They will have to do. So we've decided to befriend the dragon now? Well, better than a fiery death. It's crazier than a cat on Skuma. Jal. You are the one who got us back the perfect pounds, yes? Thank you for that. She may not be much, but... The... Zaji knew his gut was right! Only a truly great warrior could tame a dragon! Do you suppose the creature will let us ride it? Hmm? No, 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 best not to ask. This one would not want to be rude. Really? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Who wouldn't want the daring Zoji by their side? The offer is tempting. Whoever defeats these dragons will have their names sung by moon singers for generations. Zoji is not one to hesitate, Walker. Not when a stranger asks him to sail to a dragon's island, and certainly not when that same stranger offers glory and fame. The crew of the Perfect Hounds will join your dragon guard. Hmm? Ah, yes! <laughs> Zaji will speak to the crew. However, there are two crew members you may wish to speak with personally. Dirge Tractor, the Imperial with a weasel face, and the beautiful Chisbari. Their particular talents may prove interesting. The Dragon Guard Key! Who's a good-for-nothing loud now, mother? Ah, uh, but you must be busy with the dragon, no? Zaji will speak to the crew on your behalf if you do not have the time to spare. Leave it to Zachi. Our mysterious crew has departed. Those left alive to depart, that is. They were dragon cultists, yes? It would certainly explain their choice of garb. This Latvalan must have an affinity for black. Very well. I will join your order. Why would I hesitate? These dragons killed many of my people, and I cannot fight them alone. So I will help you hunt down the beasts. A simple decision, yes? The Dragon Guard were a very strict order, yes? 
I doubt our crew would do well with too many rules. Perhaps some changes will need to be made. I have faced many enemies. Nothing was too big or too powerful for me to challenge. I didn't always win, but I could always fight. When the dragons came, this was no longer true. I would rather die on the sands of Pelatine than hide away on foreign soil. This is a chance to make my stand. I will take it. Besides, if I thought your cause was impossible, I would have said no. We're in a dragon guard sanctuary. My father would tell me stories about the order when I was little. Protectors of the Emperor, slayers of dragons, daring adventures. <sighs> it was all quite exciting. You want me to join your order? I mean, that isn't to say I don't want to. Of course I do. I want to protect my home before the dragons destroy it. I just... I didn't expect you to ask me to stay. We only face the darkness of fear, so that we may find the light of courage. That's something my mother always told me. An old Red Guard proverb, she said. I'll join your Dragon Guard and protect my home. You have my word. I have to admit, our Dragon Guard does seem a little motley at the moment. Perhaps uniforms would help? I spent my childhood in Cyrodiil. My father was a commander under Emperor Leovic, and my mother was a Red Guard ambassador. Her name was Sadala. I had a tough time fitting in with my peers. They were always questioning who I was. Was I Imperial? Was I a Red Guard? They wanted to put me in a neat little box, but I didn't quite fit. Anyway, my father joined the Kolovian Revolt and was given the rank of General by Emperor Varen. Father received orders to come to Central and help with the restoration. He didn't plan to take me along as I was only 13 at the time. Then my mother died, and everything changed. Exactly, and a new city helped take my mind off of other things. I felt so welcomed in Central. The Khajiit never questioned who I was or where I came from. To them, I was simply Aelia. That was all that mattered. Yeah. Can you see I'm reading? Mm, trying to read. What letter does that look like to you? Oh. Thought it might have been some sort of code. Well, guess I'm free now. What do you want? Captain says a lot of things, like more riches than we can count, and easy as a spring breeze. Now here we are, hunting dragons like they're some kind of sky whales. Well, you are anyway. I got books to research. Who'd have thought reading could be so handy? Anything, Dragon Guard. Books on killing dragons without getting eaten, I hope. When I scare up some leads, I could use your help retrieving them. I hear anything about those new moon fanatics while I'm at it, I'll let you know. you want not surprising I am the only one who can keep a ledger around here you hunt dragons I figure out where the dragons are and what to do with any parts you bring back yes it's the most obvious way to help
Nathalar and I have come to an agreement. We'll work together to defeat Latvalan. But only that. After our battle is won, Nathalar will peacefully depart from these lands. Now, what did Zaji say to my proposal? Excellent. I'll meet with him and his crew to discuss the particulars. For aiding me in the establishment of our new Dragon Guard, accept this reward. Oh, and talk to Nathalar when you have a moment. He requested your help with a small matter. Thank you.